Since the last time you saw me, I decided to contract, like, fucking HIV on my neck. I don't know what the fuck happened, but basically, I think, potential. I'm not gonna plant the blame anywhere, but that Gymshark top that I got, I'll pop a picture up on the screen right here, this Gymshark top. As soon as I put it on, like, I didn't notice anything straight away, but, like, the day afterwards, I woke up with all of this on my neck in the exact same place. So potentially it's that because I didn't I didn't wash it as soon as I got it. So it was, it, that's the only thing I can put it down to because recently my skin's been really good because of the salicylic acid, but it just decided to come up in like a rat. It's like I, I don't know if it's like spots or a rash. It's weird, but yeah, that's what I'm planting the blame on. Also got a little golden kiwi, not a normal kiwi, a golden one. The golden ones are so much better. They're like nice and sweet. Even like normal kiwis are good, but like golden ones go crazy and i'm pretty sure they're actually better for you and they don't if you see they don't have like the that looks like a potato bro they don't have like the fur on them all right it's time to train we've got push day today i'm probably going to try out benching again because it's been a hot minute since i've benched so i reckon my rotator cuff is going to be okay now um hopefully anyway it doesn't really matter if i don't bench though because i only do it for strength and like for fun reasonings because obviously i'm focusing on my bodybuilding show in october and the hypertrophy movements are the most important. To address the title of the video, I'm gonna answer the Q&A in a little bit when I'm with Leo in the car. I'm gonna go through some questions that you guys sent to me on Instagram. And yeah, that's about it. See you in a bit. I'm gonna do a Q&A now. Q&A oh, for the, the boys. Because well, basically, I on my Instagram got people to do questions a while ago and I forgot to answer it in the last one. So Oscar said, how many years of training? So I've been training for nearly five years now. Um, in like October, I think it is. That will be my fifth year of training because that's when I started in October sort of time. But yeah, I've been I've been training for a, for a good chunk of time. I'm not gonna lie. It's like um, there's lots of people that think I'm not natural and stuff. But like after this amount of years training with like good genetics and a good diet and actually training hard as well, you would kind of want to look pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Best chest exercise. So me and me and bro discovered this together. Uh, the Smith machine, uh, incline Smith machine press is just so good. Like for, for building mass and just like, I think at the end of the day, like flies, flies are really good, but I don't know if that's how you really build mass on your chest. I'm not really sure how it works, but like a Smith machine, whenever I do that shit, it just feels like I am getting jacked as fuck. And like, if you do the reps nice and slow and controlled and you don't pause at the top, you don't pause at the bottom and you just keep this tempo going where it's like, you don't stop you will absolutely fucking set your chest on fire. It goes crazy. I agree. Nothing to add. No, <laughs> Literally nothing to add. Right, Simon Thorpe said, am I still in school? I'm not still in school. I left school last year. Basically, I've always wanted to do this like social media shit and like filming and doing YouTube and whatever. And I just procrastinated for so long after school. I was like doing bits and bobs here and there. If you look back at my old YouTube videos, you could see even last year, I had like a few videos posted. I always wanted to do it, but I never committed. Um, so after school, after my A-levels, I literally just sat around just thinking about how I was gonna do it and thinking about how I was gonna start, but never actually doing anything, just procrastinating the whole time. So um, basically, yeah, I left school last year and waited for like six months without doing anything and then decided, fuck it, let's start. About six months ago, I started in January sort of time. Uh, started posting consistently anyway. And it's all it's all going well, it's going well. So um, I don't think I'll be stopping. And I'm at the point now where it's like, as long as I just keep doing what I'm doing, keep doing more of it, keep making things better, it will be able to be my job forever, hopefully. And I'm, I'm thinking of new things to do, like merch and, and supplement companies and stuff like this um and also i'm just like open for different things to come into my life and just see see what happens because it might not even be fitness it might be different things but we'll see i've got some ideas thomas said can i be your big sexy booty mama <laughs> big booty sexy mama and thomas mate yes i would i would love nothing more than that mate all right, Chris said, what made you stay motivated for all these years? I guess I just really wanted to get jacked. I looked at other people and I was like, well, damn, like 
these these guys are, are big as fuck and they look sick and I just wanted to look like that. I think I sort of like faked it. I faked the personality of like being this gym lad because at my age when I was 14, like no one else was really doing it. And I sort of just like made it my persona a little bit. So I couldn't not go to the gym, if you know what I mean. It's like, that was, that was who I was. Because at the time, like when you're like that sort of age, if you just do like one thing, that is your thing instantly. Um, like think of like the people that play football and whatever, like they, they're they like the footballers and you just get put in like categories straight away. So I guess um, no one else was really doing it at the time and I was doing it and I just didn't stop. It's not like you're always like so motivated and like whatever. It's, it's mainly just like consistency. Just work on like coming in every single day. It oh, like... Yeah. It, you don't need to even work that hard. You just need to do it every day. Like, think of my social media shit. Uh, like, you don't... It's not about, like, grinding every... Like, all the time. It's, it's about, like, just showing up every day and just being like, oh, I see that this works. Let me do this again today. Let's just, let's just keep doing it every single day and it all just pieces together. Focus on, focus on the consistency before, like, motivation. I know, like, everyone says that shit, but it is true. Um... But I guess motivation is definitely helpful as well. Just think about how much you want it. That's pretty much it. With motivation, right, one thing that motivates me, and I know everyone's like, oh, you should, do, you know, discipline before motivation. But, like, you need to do things to enable you to discipline yourself, right? So I have, like, little mental marks. Because I just think about my mum. Right? <laughs> What's my mum going to think of me? Yeah. If I'm not doing anything. You mm. know what I'm saying? What's your mum going to... Do you want to retire your mother? Do you? Do you really? Well, you clearly fucking don't because you're sitting there watching Netflix. Because you're not going to the gym. Yeah. And getting big muscle. That's why that's, it's like a direct correlation. Oh, yeah. Mental markers. It's like, think about different things <laughs> that could, ha could happen when you get to this goal. It's really just like asking yourself like, exactly why you want it thinking about not just extrinsic motivators because they're not the things that are really going to drive you like thinking like a bit bit more internal <laughs> me and bro me and bro literally can't find any examples of intrinsic motivators because we're literally deciding to be st stupid monkeys mate <laughs> staying longer at work because you believe in your work well, if you Why do, do you that, believe in it? if you do that, you're a fucking slave for what? Playing sports because you enjoy how they make you feel. I guess, yeah, you could yeah, say that. Like, go to the gym, makes good. you feel good. How much you want it, mate, at the end of the day? Think of it as just some, give, give yourself some reasons. It is really all about just making you feel good. So for me, I know that I can make these, the reasons why I make these videos and go to the gym is so I can help, like, motivate some people and then... <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I scared myself. <laughs> right. So I can like help motivate people and like inspire people and people can watch my videos and after they watch it, they feel good about themselves. And I know when I'm having that impact on people, making other people feel good, that makes me really feel good. Like genuinely just makes me feel good. So that's the end. That's the end goal really is that it just makes me feel good. Anyway, we've got push day now. So um, hopefully I can veg today, by the way. Oh no, we don't have push day. I'm literally tapping, bro. We literally oh, have pool day. pool day. Yeah, you hit you hit uh, uh, push day yesterday. So we're not hitting push day. We're hitting pool day now, which is fine. I can just swap the two days around my program. Um, we're about to we're about to pull some weights and get a big back and get some big biceps. So I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah.
Like we literally just had the worst workout ever and we spent like five hours in the gym. Well, actually no, not five hours, like four hours in the gym. Um, even then four hours is just uh, fucking excessive for only a few exercises that have been done half arsed as well. How many did we do? We did like five. We did five, five exercises. exercises. That is so, that is so shit. It literally makes me feel sick and it always happens because we just, me and Leo get so much dopamine from talking that it's like, that's what we care about more than working out. But you know what? We were, like, this is what we were talking about in the last video or the video before is that like you almost have to have these points where it's like a turning point because now I'm just like, fuck this. I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not spending this long in the gym and I, I'm going to shut off every single fucking conversation. Even though I love the conversations, I can save it for a different time because like coming to the gym it's time to work. It's, it's time to work out and, and get big muscles. That's what I need to focus on. Yeah. Because for me, you got a show soon. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've got to, I've got to focus and actually work on my physique and only think about that. Because for me, it's like I can't focus on more than one thing at a time. So I don't know. You have to have turning points. It doesn't matter if you have bad sessions, but it's been like too many in a row where I've had bad sessions, and it's time to flip the switch. We're about to go get some food now. Uh, we don't know where. Where, yeah, where should we go and get some know. food? Where should we go? I don't want to walk around. I want to just like sit in a car and just like- should we, we could go Subway. Drown in some should we go food. Subway? Yeah. Subway? Something like in my hands oh. where I'm just like- oh. Yeah, yeah, let's go Subway. Yeah. It's literally the most suboptimal Subway. day ever, just eating Eat pure some. crap and <laughs> training like shit. Like yeah. we don't even deserve to eat this meal because we've just trained like absolute pussies. Yeah. But you know what? We'll f I'm flipping it around. To I'm flipping it around tomorrow. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm 19 years old. I really need to fucking step up my game. Wish me happy birthday by using code Harley on my protein and mm. on overdrive. That's a great way to wish him happy birthday. Oh, I'm gonna do that. So you should too. <laughs> Please. Thanks. Right, we've decided to pick KFC because um, I haven't had KFC in a really. Oh shit! You can't see a thing. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I haven't had KFC in a really fucking long time. And I fuck, I literally love KFC. It is my favorite fast food out of every single little fast food. And tomorrow I'm just gonna sort it out and get back on my grind with training. And my, my diet hasn't been bad whatsoever, but I just, I'm getting back on my grind tomorrow. And I need some calories, I need some protein. So why not pick KFC? Cause I love it. So yeah, let's, let's eat some food. We got Leo there. So yeah. I got a Sony ZV-10 in my Happy Meal. Oh, that's sick. Even though we're in KFC. Positive. How much? <laughs> in my Happy Meal, eight ninety nine. So, pretty good deal. Uh, it's got a Sigma 16 lens on it as well, and that's like 350 quid. So I've, I've done pretty well. That's alright. I might just keep buying more. <laughs> then I make like 900 pounds profit good, every time. <laughs> For equipment. <laughs> so, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a podcast, mate. <laughs> Look at that cheese in there, bro. That's that's Ooh. life. That's Ooh. life gone. Look at this. Life. Lots of time off my life. <laughs> I haven't washed my hands since going to the gym. So I love just eating eating my food with my unwashed hands and literally contracting so many diseases. It's my favourite thing. I can literally feel myself literally getting diseases. <laughs> like the metal bars that have literally and, yeah, unwashed. But you won't even know what it is. Is it food or is it that? <laughs> you won't know. So I'm doubling up on my diseases right now. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. You're literally guaranteed to get something. Right. Well, that was so funny. I came here once and just didn't pay. <laughs> but I went through the drive through <laughs> with this exact KFC. I probably got my face like down somewhere, but I need to be careful. Um, I might have had hair then actually, but anyway, I came through the drive through and I the guy gave me my food first, like he didn't ask me to pay. He gave me the food and then I was like, oh, like, do you have any? He was so distracted, like he was in such a rush because he was so busy. And he just went, all right, mate, see you later, and just closed the window. I just drove off and I didn't even think, oh, I didn't. And then Grace said to me, you didn't pay. I was like, oh shit, yeah. That's crazy for a big company Free. like this, isn't it? Yeah, but he was like 16, 17. That's it. He's probably I didn't think he gave a shit. Yeah, he tried to give it to you for free. Yeah. He's probably like, that's Leo Vincent. Like, <laughs> yeah. He provided me so much value on the internet. Yeah, that's it. He was like, I know that guy. I really like him. I'm going to a free meal. And I got one. So. Right here is the best part about KFC. That gravy and that chicken, mate. Right, we're still in KFC. We've, we've demolished our, we've fucking demolished our food. But now, we've just been talking again. And now we're on to like making our pre-workout. So 
I haven't actually spoken to you lot about this, but there's a couple of things I want to do. So merch is one of the things, um, and the other thing is a supplement company with this man, because we love pre-workout, and it's like, we want to make our own one. Like, that is just so fucking sick. Not even just for, like, money, because you don't actually make loads of money for supplements and pre-workout. And especially to start with, what we want to do is just make a fucking sick pre-workout for, for us and our own enjoyment to start with. And we want other people to also experience, like, a sick pre-workout. So we're thinking of, like, names. We're looking at other sick companies and, like, seeing what they have. And we're not looking to make loads of money to start with. Obviously, if it gets really big, that's always a, a good thing to like make a lot of money. But um, yeah, we just want to make a fucking sick pre-workout. And we're looking at all like the top companies at the moment and just seeing what they have. And this is our first little step in conquering the supplement market because we're going to make the fucking best pre-workout in the world, mate. It's literally gonna happen. It's literally gonna be the best. Look at the look at that bald head, bro. That's that's <laughs> Breaking Bad. What's his name? Walter White. Walter White. That's Walter White, and I'm Tom Platts, bro. <laughs> that's that's, that's the that's the combo right there. Yeah. That's some crazy that's shit. Cool. Yeah. Walter White and Tom Platts. Yeah. That's a crazy combo, bro. I would not want to be up against those guys. <laughs> they're gonna make they're gonna cook up some serious shit. 